Hello, sixth graders. Miss Woggy here to teach you lesson 34. And I know you're probably wondering, how did Miss Woggy get such a style and do while in quarantine? Unfortunately, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about math. So let's get to it. All right. So on my screen here, um, you can see that I've got lesson 34 of the sample problems pulled up. So we're going to go out and just go through those together. Um, and then I'll show you what it might look like in your notebook because um, some of you might not be able to print this and that's totally fine. It might be better or for you, it'd be okay to do it in your notebook or however, whatever blank piece of paper you have to work on. So here's example one that says, considering the following, consider the following statement, y is less than or equal to one. So part A asks us to draw the correct symbol into the box to create an inequality that describes all values for which y is less than or equal to one. So we just have to figure out which sign uh, fits in there. So y is less than or equal to one. So when we have less than, um, so y is less than, it looks like a little l, so that's our little trick to remember, less than, or equal to means we have to have our line underneath it, one. So y is less than or equal to one. The second part, part B, is to draw the correct ray. So the ray is the circle with the line going either direction. Um, so one of these options here. So draw the correct ray on the number line to represent all values for which y is less than or equal to one. So our first step is to just plot where one is on the number line. So we can see, oh, these are negatives, there's zero, there's one. So I'm gonna draw my circle right there. And since it says less than or equal to, that or equal to is our key that tells us, oh, I gotta fill in the circle because it includes one. When it is an empty circle, it does not include one, which if this the or equal to wasn't there and it just looked like this, then that would mean, um, that we would not fill in the circle. So y is less than or equal to one. So if it's less than one, I'm gonna go this direction. I'm gonna to go to the left, left is less. We're going this way. We'll draw our ray. Your line will probably be straighter than mine because I'm doing this on the computer, but it will look something like this. So we know that y is less than or equal to, that filled in circle tells us it can include one. And we're going to the left because all of these numbers are less than one. Okay, so that is example one. Now we're gonna look at example two, which says negative three is greater than C. So our first step is to do what we did in part A up here and to create our uh, inequality statement. So they have it written with the number first instead of the variable, we will write it that way and then we'll switch it. So negative three is greater than C. So we know that it, the alligator is going to be eating the negative three. It's going to be facing that direction. Negative three is greater than C. So we're going to flip it to say C is less than negative three. Okay, so our major difference between this problem and this one is that we do not have that or equal to part, which means our circle is going to look different. But first step is to find the spot on the number line where we're going to plot our circle, which is negative three. So we're going to find that in the negatives here. Oh, there's negative three. I'm going to draw my circle there. There it is. And in this case, since there is no or equal to, and I don't see my little line underneath my inequality, I'm not going to fill in the circle because it does not include negative three. C is less than negative three, but it's not equal to. So I do not fill in my circle. So if C is less than negative three, I need to go, once again, left is less. I'm going this direction again because all of these values, even though they're bigger numbers, they're getting further from zero, which means they have a lower value. So then I would have my inequality and my, um, my ray is drawn. So those are our two sample problems. And before we go, I'm gonna show you what it could look like in your notebook. So we'll do problem number one in your notebook. Let's make this bigger so you guys can see. Okay, so we've got my notebook here. So I'm gonna title it with the lesson. Okay, there we go. So lesson 34. 
and we're going to be doing A, number one, A, and B. Okay, so A is just when we write the inequality, so it's going to be given to us in word form, and it says X is less than negative 2. I'm just going to start by writing X and negative 2, and if X is less, it's going to be facing this way, like the L, and we know that it would be facing the negative 2 because that's the bigger number in this case. So X is less than negative 2. And for your number line, um, just follow whatever the number line is on the lesson as far as which numbers to put on it. So this one goes from negative 5 to 5. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my number line. Okay. So I've got that. And I'm going to have negative 5 on my negative side. I'm going to put 0 in the middle just so I can kind of make it even. And then 5 on my positive side. And I'll just make my other numbers in here. This doesn't have to be perfect. So one, two, three, four, five, and five. So we've got our number line here, and now we just have to plot this point. So x is less than negative two. So I'm gonna find negative two on my number line. It's right here. I'll draw my circle. And since I don't have less than or equal to, I just have this, no line underneath means I don't fill in my circle because it does not include negative two as part of the inequality. And then if X is less than negative two, I know I'm going left again um, because all of these numbers here to the left are less than negative two. If I went the other direction, these numbers are all greater than. So if the inequality had been switched, then that would mean that I would go this direction. I would go to the right because the numbers are increasing going that way. Alrighty, sixth graders, good luck with the rest of lesson 34, and I will talk to you later. Bye.